Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. Our users often ask us how to create a connection to some specific data sources in DBeaver. Because of that, we've decided to create separate tutorials for the several most requested databases and guide you through the whole process step by step. Today, we want to show you how to create a connection to MongoDB, one of the most popular document oriented databases supported by DBeaver Pro apps. Start by clicking on the New Database Connection button on the top toolbar to open the connection wizard. To find a MongoDB driver, just start entering its name in the search field or go to the No SQL section of the wizard. Double click on the driver icon. A connection creation window will open, which includes several tabs. On the main tab, you must fill in the host and port and choose the authentication method from the drop down list. Depending on your chosen method, you may need to fill out a few more fields. For example, for Scramshaw, you'll need to enter the user and password. If your database is accessible through an SSH tunnel, you must go to the SSH tab, check the box Use SSH Tunnel, and fill out the required fields. To ensure that SSH settings are entered correctly, click the Test Tunnel Configuration button. You will then either see a success message or an error message. In the case of an error message, you need to double check the filled fields. If your connection requires using an SSL certificate, go to the SSL tab, check the Use SSL box, and upload the CA certificate client certificate, and client private key files accordingly. After completing all the settings, you can check if everything's correct by clicking the Test Connection button. If the connection can be established, you'll see a window with the result and driver information. Finally, the last step is to click the Finish button. The new connection will appear in the navigation tree. All you're left to do is click the expand icon or select your database in the database navigator and click the connect button on the top toolbar. If you want to be sure that you don't miss our other videos about database connections, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.